So steelhead fishing, especially in the Yakima Valley, has been something that brought not only people together and fun and dinner on the table for families, but it brought an economic impact to the Yakima Valley that is something that if it goes away, it can't be replaced. That that piece of that pie is gone forever. You don't get to replace it. And I managed a store called Hammers Outdoor World. It was in Gap, which is a suburb of Yakima, Washington. And I managed that store for eight years. And the first six years I was there, steelhead fishing was good. It was open at night. We had, uh, you know, a lot of local fisheries and they went from basically May all the way until November, December, January, you could fish steelhead everywhere, right? And that economic impact, that economic value of that was every day I was selling line, I was selling leader, I was selling bait, I was selling ice, I was selling hooks, I was selling weights, lures, you know, licenses for the state, everything out of that store. And all of a sudden, steelhead runs start to diminish. They start to dwindle to the point that these fisheries that we used to be able to participate in, there was, there was a lot of them in different places that were gone. Like no more fishing, can't fish for steelhead. And when that happened, that daily cash flow, that daily, that daily money coming in, it really put the store in a bind because that fishery was so demanding, especially for Yakima Valley people, that it basically was one of the things that put the store under by losing that particular fishery. So, you know, steelhead are important, not just to put on your table, not just to go out and high five with your buddies. That stuff's all great, but they're important for economic impact for people working for jobs. From our most recent <laughs> Lower Snake River Dam benefit replacement draft report that Governor Inslee and Senator Murray have put together, they have identified and specifically to this area that's been estimated that restored salmon fisheries in the Columbia Basin could generate up to $1 billion annually in additional regional personal income benefits and support up to 25,000 new family wage jobs. But if we were to return those runs even 10 years ago, it would be an economic boost that would be unbelievable for just not only us, but everybody associated with, with the steelhead in this industry. Everybody has to think through, is listen to what their vote will mean, if, whether it's in the primaries, whether it's in November. What does that vote mean? Does that vote mean I'm going to continue with the status quo or am I about change and change for what is best for the economy of where I live that's real and not being told to me by lobbyists and politicians that are trying to keep their jobs.